These are second year um, extended diploma in animal management students and this subject is animal training um, and there's a practical element to this unit so we need to actually get some dogs out. We're going to go and collect some dogs from our kennels. We're very lucky in that we've got access to a lot of dogs. We're going to bring them in here um, and we're going to do some clicker training with them and the students will work on some tricks and some more basic obedience behaviours as well just to give them a feel for what clicker training is all about. So the way this session will work is that I will explain what they're going to need to do and then I will demonstrate on one of the dogs. The students will then copy what I've done or imitate what I've done, practice and then I'll walk around and help them and assess them as we go along. Um, they can also then assess each other because they'll be working in pairs and it's a really good opportunity for self-assessment because if they don't do it right the dog doesn't do what they want. So they're self-assessing continually with this which is really nice. Let's do a simple chain of behaviours then before we move on. Let's go for a sit, down, sit. Can I have a retreat? So if I show you with Roxy, so watch what I'm going to do with Roxy. Roxy, sit. Sit. Down. Sit. Click and treat. Okay, so I'm sequencing now. I'm starting to put three behaviours together. So you're starting to sequence. You're going to put three behaviours together for one click and treat. You click and treat at the end. So what you're asking them to do is just a little bit more. You're stretching them a little bit. She's going to offer you a play dead in a minute. <laughs> That's her newest trick. So say, down. All positions have a name. It's not relative. Sit. And click and treat. Oh, nice. The positions are named, so it doesn't matter. They don't understand the difference between up and down. They just know that down means lie on the floor. They don't put them in relation to each other, so they've no concept of up. Apparently, you look really funny. I've got my own dad because I was being assertive. And I shouldn't do that. Okay. Nice and calm and relaxed. Calm. Well, they feed off you, don't they? So, yeah, if you get all wound up, they will too. So, let's have a sit down, sit from Dooley. <laughs> Make, um, do, that, do that down again. And I want the whole dog on the floor this time. Yeah, it's better. And sit. Yes. He's just shortcutting you. You're thinking, do I have to roll the way down? And you're going to say, well, yes, actually, you do. Okay? And the reason, the way you do that is just to hold the food still and say, and, and, and ask for the down. Because he already knows what it means. So you can, you can be a little bit sort of picky about what you settle for. You're not going to click him for being halfway up. Okay. When we've asked him for a down, he knows that down means lie on the floor. Yeah. Because we've already taught him that. Okay. Okay? Okay. One more. Right, do it. 